Ladies and gentlemen on the Shred Gaming Citicom video, let us discuss NVIDIA's GTX 750 Ti. And there are some developments concerning this card. Now, it's going to be released mid-February, if all uh, indications are accurate. Now, I've done this as an article as well, because I've had to include some screenshots of some websites, as well as several links, and it also takes you to a set of leaked benchmarks from yesterday, so you can also click on that so you can see even more details from another uh, tidbit that I covered yesterday. I didn't bother to do a video on that because I didn't think it was quite worth it, but now we've got a bit more information. So. The GeForce GTX 750Ti is pretty much guaranteed now to be the first Maxwell graphics card out this year. Um, there's a listing for it on ASUS's own website and it shows that um, the GTX 750 is going to be sporting 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. We don't know the rest of the specifications unfortunately, but as I mentioned uh, there was a leaked benchmark from, um, I believe it was China, that popped up. I've uh, grabbed it as well as a link to that website from my website, so you can easily backtrack if you wish. And they put up a couple of uh, game benchmarks, including Biohazard, also known as Resident Evil 5, and um, like Fire Mark, uh, Fire Strike, and a couple of others. But unfortunately. While we do have, for example, Fire Strike scores, um, Ice Storm, Valley, and a couple of others, um, for the most part, we don't really have that many gaming performance. They've only got uh, Final Fantasy XIV and Biohazard. Uh, 3D Mark Fire Strike uh, comes in at just over 4,000 um, for the GTX 750 Ti, which is actually around 10% lower than the GTX 660 and that seems to be pretty consistent. Scores are going up and down but it's roughly between you know 5-6% to maybe 15% really depending on the game slash application that we're discussing. In addition to that it is pretty much a certain right now that Maxwell at least for now is only going to be 28 nm and it's looking like it's not going to be a huge jump in performance just purely based on these numbers hopefully we're wrong or hopefully the rumors are wrong um, Maxwell it looks like the biggest changes are going to be the ARM CPU processor as well as unified memory address which is going to help for you know the GP GPU stuff more than anything um, but unfortunately, those functions aren't going to be available for all CPUs. So basically what I'm going to tell you is that, well, it's a good possibility that they're not going to be part of the GTX 750 Ti. Um, this would make a lot of sense considering that we're seeing the GTX 790 as well as the Titan Black Edition that's been confirmed if you want more information on that. You could check out either the relevant video uh, that I put up just yesterday or you can check out the article. It's linked from this article that I've linked in the description if that makes sense. Um, and We do have some pretty solid evidence of the those cards, those two high-end cards, of course, are going to be released some point in February slash March as well. But as you would expect, they are not based on the kept on the Maxwell architecture. They're still going to be remaining with the uh, Kepler architecture. So anyway, uh, hopefully that's all clear. If not, well, as I said, you can just check the article out, and it's all uh, abundantly clear. And there's also a link, as I said, to the ASUS website. Unfortunately. We just don't have the specs yet. But anyway, I'm sure we'll get them soon enough. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.